Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the S1 Laser Machine by Xtool. Thanks for joining me for another video on the Laser Channel. Today's video is going to be broken up into two parts with the first part being a time lapse of the unboxing of the S1 and the accessories of the Honeycomb and Air Assist. The second part of the video, which I think is going to be really interesting is I'm going to be doing a safety comparison of the S1 laser machine against an open frame laser diode machine. For this comparison, I am going to be using the Xtool D1 Pro. When I do this comparison, just know that even though I'm using the D1 Pro, this could be any open frame laser machine on the market today. I'll cue in some nice relaxing music and start the unboxing, and I'll see you in one to two minutes. That was a lot of fun unboxing the S1 and the accessories. There's just something about unboxing a new machine that brings quite a bit of joy to my day and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Next up, I'm going to bring the Xtool D1 Pro up on the table right next to the S1 and I'll start the side-by-side -side safety comparison. I would like to start the safety comparison with something that my uncle once told me, and that is, with great power comes great responsibility. With that statement, Xtools putting even more focus on safety with the enclosed system found on the S1 machine. On today's market, laser machines are becoming more and more powerful. This S1 machine that I have has a 40 watt laser module that is really powerful. The D1 Pro has a 20 watt laser module. And as a user of lasers, I think it's really important to keep focus on safety. I have a couple of key safety points in this comparison. A lot of it is going to center around the enclosure. 
found on the S1. When I go back over to the open frame machine found on this D1 Pro and virtually all of the open frame machines on the market today, I can certainly purchase an enclosure that would go over the machine. A lot of those machines will have a visor in their front with most of them being eye friendly. That's really neat, but it does have a couple of drawbacks and a couple of things that are concerning to me. First of all, that enclosure, it's not electrically connected up to the machine. So while the machine is running, there's nothing that's stopping me as the user of opening the front of that laser enclosure and putting my eyes at risk being around the laser. Along with, now some of that smoke and smoke residue can escape out of that enclosure. This D1 Pro does not have an e-stop button on it. Many of the other open frame machines on the market do have an e-stop button, and I think that's great. However, here's the catch with that. When I do run an enclosure around the machine, that e-stop button, it's no longer accessible, meaning it's not really usable. However, on the S1 machine, Back in this corner is the e-stop button. It's a nice bright red button and I always know where it is and it's always accessible. Now I know I'm picking on an open frame machine quite a bit, but there are some aspects of them that I really do like. I do like the versatility of being able to uh, upgrade the laser module, sometimes even from a blue laser diode module to an infrared laser module, but that too also presents a little bit of an issue that I have when using the enclosure around the machine. And that is, if I'm using an aftermarket enclosure, I don't know if that enclosure, that viewing uh, cover is going to be eye friendly towards the wavelength of that infrared laser module. When I switch over to the S1, this cover is going to be eye friendly for both the blue laser diode modules that are available for this machine along with the infrared module that is available. So it's going to cover all of those different modules that are going to be compatible with this machine. One of the really cool features on the X-Tool machine with the open frame is underneath the laser module there is one sensor for a flame detection and of course, when I move over to the S1, it has to one up that by offering five different detection points within the machine. There's two in the front, there's two in the back, and I believe there's one on the side. They've got it very well hidden and I wasn't able to find it, but when I go to the Xtool website, they do have it pointed out where all five of those detection points are located. Speaking of the website for Xtool, if you'd like to know more about some of the technical specifications of this machine, I will have a link in the video description down below. I also have one for the Xtool D1 Pro, but I do recommend going with something with an enclosed system like the S1 machine. Personally, I really like the idea of having a machine that it is all enclosed, the cover is eye friendly, it is enclosed, so it's very easy to exhaust all of that smoke and smoke residue out of my work area. I think as we start doing more and more projects, many of us are starting a side business running our laser. Maybe that even turned into a full-time career running these machines personally. I think it's important that as we run the machines more, we do so in a safe manner. I want to be safe when I run my machine and I want you to be safe while you run your machines. I want our community of laser users to be able to enjoy these machines for a very, very long time. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, or ringing that notification bell. That way you'll know the next time a great video like this comes out. I have some more great content planned for the S1. I'm going to be using the Xtool software, exploring some of the features found on this machine, and I want to exploit some of the fast speeds that this machine is capable of. Until next time, Learn, create, and share.